Hi, what's up, Alita? This is going to be your reading for um, February 2019, Sun, Moon, Rising, Libra. Um, oh, first card out. Ooh, King of Pentacles. So, abundance, happiness, pleasures, dreams come true. Um, you've worked hard and now you are right here sitting in all your pleasure and happiness. Um, you're the king of your castle right now. The harvest has came, like, so, oh, but maybe it hasn't came yet, because you're, you've sailed away from the bullshit, you got out of these, um, it's like, you've had something going on in your mind, um, but the shoreline is in sight, so if you haven't got your abundance yet, you'll get it. You had been presented with an opportunity, but you've either let it pass you by or you're not acting on it as of you right now. It could have been a new idea. It could have been, um, like the swords I always think of, like, you can either, it's like the shit you say. So you could either tear somebody down or build them up. And with the Ace of Swords down, it's like maybe... Instead of using this opportunity to build somebody up, you rip them apart. And that's not like Libra. Libra is all about making people happy, making people feel good. And so maybe you said something to someone and it wasn't necessarily nice. Or... Um, Maybe it was at your job, or maybe it was something, um, maybe you said something because you're not doing your job. You know what I'm saying? It's like, um, with this Eight of, uh, eight of Pentacles reversed, it's like, you should be working diligently towards your passions and goals, and with it being reversed, it's like, you are not doing that. Maybe, um. You're spending too much time in your mind and uh, not going after something that's like emotionally fulfilling like you have like this card is about like getting that last thing that you really want finding that last piece that's like ooh, like you have everything you want but there's still something more that you want it's like um <laughs> in the four of cups saying like uh hello we're giving it to you why aren't you taking this fucking cup like that cup is like he's like take the fucking cup dude like it's right in front of you whatever it is and you're just not seeing it <laughs> the sun so <laughs> this cup is literally right in front of you it's everything you've ever wanted plus some and Maybe it's a new relationship. Maybe January, a lot of signs had twin flame relationships meeting your twin flame. Like, so, I don't, or a soulmate. So, I don't know how many of you met the, that person, but I think a lot of people, especially the star seeds, did meet that person. So, if that's your emotional cup, that's like the last piece to the puzzle. That's you connecting with this divine person to complete you kind of or completing yourself it's like you can't be in a relationship till you love yourself you know so it's like finding that piece of you that's like missing finding that last thing that's going to make you feel complete and this could just be it doesn't have to be another person it could be just yourself you know oh so ooh. So the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups reversed, fell on top of it. So, Wands are all about passions, or um, things that you really, really want, things that you desire, things that, and the Ten of Cups falling on top of it also too. The Ten of Cups is a really, really happy card. Um, so maybe your abundance isn't as good as you wanted it to be or maybe it's in a less uh a less um 
it was in a more humble state of mind. But you have the Queen of Swords here, upside down, with the Strength card, and the Queen of Cups. So, definitely something in your mind. You're being like, you're not seeing something. But the Strength card is like controlling a situation using honey instead of vinegar like you catch more flies with honey than vinegar like something's going on where you're not taming this beast inside yourself you're not taming it doesn't have to be inside you it could be another person also but sometimes to win or get ahead we have to pull back and let the other person think they're winning so that you can come through from a place that's like, mm, it's like surrendering or submitting so that you can gain something. And it doesn't have to be in a manipulative way. It's just sometimes we need to let other people think that they won an argument or they letting them, you know, it's like when you're fighting with someone or in an argument with someone and you just like, okay, you win, you know, or just like letting it go and just trying to let the other person calm down and coming back to it later. It's, um, ha the Queen of Cups has her emotions in check. She's balanced. She's, she just flows with things. She's a lover. She doesn't, like, with water, oh, with cups and stuff, it's like water can take the shape of anything. So it can fill, whatever cup you put it in, it's going to fill it, and it's going to take that shape of it. And that's kind of what Libras do, even though you guys are air and not water. So maybe you're dealing with a water sign. Or, or an air sign, or a Gemini. Um, but you have everything you need. You have all the things that are right here on the edge of abundance or you've got in your abundance, but it's small right now. So you need to go that one extra step, do that one extra thing and you'll be good. But it's like, you have to figure out within yourself, like what that, what that cup is you're missing. What, where are you going to find? Like you have to go to a darker part of yourself or like, like your subconscious, or it's like figuring out the darker parts of yourself or your shadow self so that you can gain the abundance you deserve. Like, ooh, so the seven of wands with the devil. So you went through a really hard period, maybe it's, um, it could have been an addiction or it could have been, um, something you feel chained to, a relationship, a job you didn't like, a, um, argument, some, something, something's happened and it's kept you bound almost to it. So the seven of wands is like you've been fighting or defending something and then you realize maybe fighting isn't the best way. It's like you're fighting for something that doesn't need to be fought for necessarily. It's like spirit will come in and soothe these wounds or help you with these wounds as soon as you decide you wanna heal them within yourself. And you have the Knight of Swords coming through with the Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So you definitely have an opportunity here. You have a lot of options available to you. Some of them have manifested, some, some of them have not. But it, once you decide what you want and you put your mind to it and charge forward, the Page of Pentacles is taking adventures, going on these like um, going on like some, like maybe going to something where you meet new people, finding out different things. 
about yourself so that you can manifest these things and charge forward and feel confident that there will be money there, there will be abundance there, there will be um, support from spirit to help you along. I soon will. Okay, so you have the Fool upside down, the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers reversed. So you're looking at your crops, you're looking at what should be fully manifested and it's not. And you're like, well, why haven't this shit grown? Where's my fucking abundance? Where's where's my happiness? Where's my relationship? Where's all these things? And you're pulling your crops up before you let them grow. It's like if you planted a garden yesterday, you wouldn't come out there today, rip all the seeds out of the ground and be like, what the fuck? Where are you at? You would have to wait. So it's about learning patience. And um, like you've already took that leap of faith and maybe you got hurt with this lover's card. Maybe you, maybe somebody, maybe you fooled yourself into thinking that there was this relationship and that was going to bring you happiness and you had to realize that the only thing that's going to bring you happiness comes from something that's truly inside of you and you've worked hard for it but maybe you put a lot of time into this relationship instead of putting a lot of time into yourself because when you are fully in your power then nothing can stop you from radiating this happy high vibrational um this high vibrational like attitude where abundance will just follow you relationships will follow you stop chasing other people and chase your own dreams and then everything else will follow but you have to lead with the um lead from a place of like i give a shit about myself first and um not in like a selfish way but in like a you can't waste any more time with people who don't give a fuck about you. Cool, and the hermit upside down. So, it, where are you spreading your light or keeping your light? You know, it's like you're keep, the hermit upside down is like you kept your light hidden and maybe it's because you were chained to this relationship. Maybe it's because you were chained to this place of fear and this place where you haven't spoken your truth and haven't been showing who you really are. Now it's time to take the cloak off. Now it's time to come out of this shell and be fully in your power so that the world can see who you are. And when you do that and look in these darker places with the moon, it's like your subconscious, you are... Um, the things that are hidden, not necessarily me. You might not even be aware of them yet. But <clears throat> you're right there on the brink of something beautiful. And once you unchain yourself from this devil, from this weird energy, you'll be fine. Like, you'll be fine. Don't, don't catch chickens before they hatch. Just wait and know that they're going to hatch. But this is your reading for February. I'll see you guys in March. Check out my website, tylerdesantis.com. Check out my art on there. Some of it's on the wall. You can't really see it because the light is glaring, but uh, it's made with menstrual blood. <laughs> so check it out. Share it. Um, yeah, book a personal reading. Subscribe. And I'll see you guys in March. Bye. I love you.